director Kevin Smith has announced that a sequel to his 1995 comedy Mall Rats will begin production in January and will shoot at the Exton Square Mall in Exton, Pennsylvania. Most of the original cast is expected to return for the new film, including Kevin Smith himself and Jason Mewes as Jay and Silent Bob. John, do you buy yourself the upcoming Mall Rats 2? Yeah, I buy it. I mean, look, Kevin Smith right now is doing a little bit of what some Hollywood actors like Schwarzenegger and Stallone and Vin Diesel have done, which is let's go back to the stuff that really worked for us before. And in the case of like Vin Diesel and Schwarze or, uh, Stallone at any rate, it's, it's worked out quite well doing that. Me personally, so I'll buy it. I mean, personally though, I'm really hoping he's still sticking with the plan. What they announced back in April that was that he was aiming to do Mallrats 2 and then do Clerks 3 after that. I am far more interested in Clerks 3. I actually think Clerks 2 is an incredibly underrated genius comedy. I think once you get beyond the donkey show jokes and all that kind of stuff, that was a comedy that hit me where I was in my life so well. I mean, there's a depth to that movie that I think a lot of people miss, up, miss out on because of the surface humor to it. And the surface humor is really funny in and of itself. I treasure Clerks too, actually. I think it's a wonderful film. I'm dying to see where he goes with that. But as far as Mall Rats go, yeah, this is good. I'm curious to see what they're going to do with this. So for me, it's a buy. Big buy for me. I love Mall Rats. It's actually my favorite Kevin Smith movie. Really, the first nice. one is. I love Clerks. I love Clerks. I didn't like Clerks too. I just wasn't. I just it's my favorite Kevin Smith film. Funny. See, I didn't. And, and I love Kevin Smith. I just. Uh, and the thing with Kevin Smith, what he's done recently is, and he was smart, is that because he's just he's like he's one of us to where he would be, as far as being in the geek world and and podcasting and being. I mean, he's he's really he's become almost like a god of the podcasting world. That everything that he's done so far in this world, he's made a voice for him there. Uh, for himself there, you know, the Comic Cons. And so going back, you know, his, he hasn't been in the directing spotlight as much. I mean, you hear him, and even the, the smaller movie he did, the, uh, Tusk. the Tusk, which I thought was bizarre on so many different levels, that came from one of his podcasts, you know? Yeah. Like, so to see him go back, like you said, like Stallone and, and, and Schwarzenegger and all these guys to do one of his properties, Mallrats to me is, it scares me. Because I don't want, because I love the first one so much. I remember seeing it as a kid and just loving it. And I still can watch it. Steve, Dave, and the whole crew. Um, but the the thing is with that movie, the, it says the cast is supposed to come back. You can't do Mall Rats Two without Jason Lee. No, I think I think he's got. You've got to have yeah, Jason Brody is the best part of that movie. Now, I don't know if Michael Rooker's coming back or anything, too, but um, I want to see what happened to those characters. It'd be very interesting to me. Uh, if, if, but that's what it worries about me with Clerk 2, like you said, the donkey jokes and all that stuff. The dialogue stuff in Clerks 2 was fun, and it was good. Well, that's Smith's strength. That, that, right. That was the fun stuff. But it was when he got away from what was so special about Clerks 1 to me. Was that it was simple. It was simple. And it's, it's what we were talking about with Shyamalan, when Shyamalan had so much money that he got lost in the money of it. I think because Kevin Smith had a little bit more money to play with, he put that donkey stuff in and put that, and you didn't need it. You just Dante and uh, their their voice and the stuff that they said was enough, and that's what I want Mallrats Two to be. Just be simple, be a day in the mall. I don't need some big action piece to happen and a gun fight to go down. I, all I need is just the dialogue and the silly things happening. Mallrats Two, and I'm in. Um, I buy it for you too. Thank you. <laughs> you. You both are so excited. I to me, you know, look, Kevin Smith has said over the last you're right, he's he's very much in his world. You know, Kevin Smith has built an empire for himself, which he is very much the king of. And, you know, he's very comfortable in that space, in the geek space, in the nerd space, in the con space, in the podcasting space. And he is making movies for his fans and his fans alone. And I think that's great for his fans. I do think that, you know, while I didn't like Tusk and uh, was not a fan of Red State, for me as a genre fan, I loved seeing the attempt at it. You know, I loved seeing him cross into these waters that were a little different. It takes risks. It, he, yeah. yeah, taking the mm -hmm. risk, exactly. And I would like to see more of that from Kevin Smith, but I think at this point in his career, he's kind of gotten to a place where he's like, well, why would I do that? Why would I, when I can just do something really cool that's cool to me, that's cool to my fans for this small majority or this small group and call it a day. So to me personally, Clark, I'm kind of like, okay, whatever. But for the fans, this is a huge thing. So, you know, one of the words that's one of the cliche words that's way overused and thrown around and misused a lot is brand. Mm -hmm. um, Kevin Smith is one of those few celebrities that has truly turned himself into a brand. Yeah. Absolutely. Kevin Smith is a brand. Even the jersey. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the jersey, the podcasting, the geek circles, yeah. all that yeah. kind of stuff. He's done it very well and done it very successfully.